1.16 has finally arrived. But not just 1.16, 1.16.1 has also arrived as well, fixing a few bugs that are present in the 1.16 update. So we waited a little while before we updated the Autocraft server, but yeah, now we're updated, which is fantastic. So the plan for today is we're going to go into the nether, get some netherite, look at the new biomes, maybe tackle one of the nether bastions, and we'll see what happens. And yeah, if you're looking forward to the 1.16 update and want to see us play through, remember to like and subscribe. But yeah, I have been making some preparations. Uh, I've been farming up some wool because we're going to be farming netherite by blowing up a bunch of beds in the nether. Now, we could afford to use TNT, but you know, you know what? I figured using beds would be more fun. So yeah, I farmed up three stacks of wool, so we're going to go with a stack of beds for this. I have also been saving up gold for this exact situation. Now, before we do anything, I'm going to craft a gold piece of armor so that we can we don't have any problems however it's a helmet right oh, also i can't zoom in we don't have optifine or anything so it's a helmet but i have my villager head on right now my wandering trader head that is but we can take it off because i have it on my skin now as well <laughs> i know it looks very strange you've all got used to seeing me normally so what we're going to do is anytime we go into the nether we'll put on this variant of the skin or we'll use it like this and then when we leave we'll put back on the wandering trader head like so but yeah before we do anything let me just swap that back out a few people have already been and got some netherite stuff which is fantastic uh, since we reset the nether all the stuff in the nether roof is gone so if i go through this portal it'll just it'll link to whatever's already there so first of all we need to set up our own portal on the nether roof and spawn proof it so let me go and gather some obsidian get some spawn proof blocks and we can go and set this thing up all right so i've collected enough obsidian i have a flint and steel i even have a sign and some dye so that I can label my stuff along with blocks to spawn proof the portal. So, since there's already portals on the roof, in theory when I walk through this portal it should link me to one of them. So let's go and take a little jaunt through here. And we wait for the game to load up. Alright no, this isn't where I thought I'd end up. Interesting, this is someone else's portal, is this anyone there where I need to be? No, it's no one there where I need to be. Alright, that's that's just great, right? So I need to find my way to the hole in the nether roof. And then I can get up there and you know, set up our portal link. Why is this down here? You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna break this. Break this one. This is this <laughs> this is gonna mess up a lot of people. Alright, there we go. Let's head and find this hole. Alright, so I started making my way to the hole in the nether roof and I ran into some ancient debris. Wow. Okay, let's harvest some of that. Oh, and it's a double vein as well. Ah, perfect. There we go, sweet. Okay, so we've got two down. We're going to need to collect like 36 of this, I think. But yeah, that's a good start. Anyways, let's go to the nether room. So, unfortunately, that um, area that I was just in, there was a massive lava lake above it, so I couldn't get out. So what I did was I relit the portal, went to the shopping district and went through that portal because I knew that one linked to the ceiling. And here we are, we have our portal. Also, before you mention it, I know there was a piece of nether right there. I did actually go and pick it up. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's so dark. I can't see anything. Just when the Optifine uh, stuff releases, it's going to be a lifesaver. But yeah, if we just pop on through this portal, this should link us to our base. So here we go. And there we go. Perfect. All right, that is sweet. Now, what we need to do now. Oh, F. That's him up to 78 death now. <laughs> GG. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go below the nether roof and go mining for netherite, which is, you know, great. So we've almost already got three pieces. We need 36. And yeah, we have enough wool and wood for a stack of beds. Now, rather than setting a time limit, I'm just going to go through the entire stack of beds and see what stuff we can get from that. If we get more than that amount, more than the amount of um, ancient debris we need, fantastic. If we don't, well, we'll just go and do this grinding for longer. So I'll bring you back when we start doing the, the bed mining and we'll see what stuff we can get. All right, so I just staircased down and we're currently at Y14 and we're gonna be placing these beds at Y15. So as you can see, I made a poke hole here and my first poke hole, I found some ancient debris. So let us collect some of that. Oh, there's some blackstone there as well. So I collect this stuff. There we go, cool. Now, I do believe that since that spawned here, there won't be any more chance of it spawning 
in this chunk. So I'm going to turn on the chunk boundaries. I'll send it now, it's just on the edge there. Okay, right. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to keep this green bed. Is we're going to place a bed there, like so. So I've mined in as far as I can. Uh, I've also put on my chest plate for this, just in case. And now what we should do is if we right click this, there we go. And it exposed the big area. Oh, look at that. There's some more ancient debris right there. Cool. That's sweet. So what we do next is we create these five blocks again, because it will ex expose slightly more space. So one, two, three, four, five. And we place the bed there. And let's get that block back. And then we do the exact same thing all over again. There you go. So exposed a little bit more space, there wasn't any more ancient debris. But yeah, look at that. So what we can do now is we can get rid of the fire and we can mine it. And there we go, we're already up to six pieces, that's nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna repeat this same process. As you can see, this is fairly effective and we're gonna go along until we run out of beds. Now, since we use two per thing, I think we can only do this 16 times on either side of the corridor which is quite sweet so why don't we do that in the form of a time lapse all right so we ran out of beds <laughs> yeah we went through quite a lot of them all the full stack and we only got 23 pieces of ancient debris and something just popped up in my window there we go go away so yeah uh, we only got 23 pieces of ancient debris we need 36 pieces in order to get all the nether we need so i'm gonna go and gather some more materials so that we can continue this thing yeah, I am running so late with this episode that isn't even funny. But yeah, before we do anything like that, this Saturday, so the day after this video goes live, we're going to be doing a live stream day. So a few of us on the server will be live streaming continuously for like 16 hours, I think. I'll be starting off. The times are on screen right now. I believe I start at... I'm not sure the exact time, but it's like 1pm BST for me. I know that much. And I'll be going for two hours, then I'll pass it on to Rustic and so on and so forth. So make sure you go to twitch.tv forward slash deathloyt follow us there so you can be notified of the stream and I hope to see you there. Alright so we got the 36 ancient debris we needed so now we can actually go and craft some netherite. So what we're going to do is we need to go and grab some gold. Now I don't remember if I left in here. Okay there we go. I think I also have some in my ender chest. But yeah what we need to do now is we need to smelt off this ancient debris into netherite scrap, which we do up here. So let's split this into three. So 12 pieces each and some glass in there. So let's just get rid of that, put that stuff in. And there we have it. Sweet, now I need to enter my inventory and get rid of some other stuff. Now while we wait, I want to let you guys know something. So. As of this video going live, we are reopening applications for AutoCraft. So if you go down to the description, there will be a new application link. And it's to have a completely brand new application to rewrote it, put in some additional information. So if you guys are interested in joining the server, why don't you go down there and take a look at it. Now the way this will work is this application will be open for the rest of the season. And once a month, we'll go through the applicants and we'll pick out who we like, we'll set up interviews and then we'll bring some pe new people on. So, as I said, if you're interested in this stuff, make sure to go take a look at the application. And subscribe while you're there, because, yeah, that will impact whether we like you or not. <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. I'm, I'm, I'm joking here. But yeah, you should subscribe. And make sure you subscribe to everyone else on the server. Alright, so that netherite scrap has just finished smelting up, so let's collect all of that. There we go. And now we can craft nine netherite ingots, which is fairly sweet. Now what we need to do is we need a smithing table. So the smithing table recipe is four pieces of wood and two pieces of iron. And there we have it, we have a smithing table. Nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all this stuff here and we're gonna combine it with some pieces of netherite. So there's some netherite leggings. There is some netherite boots. Okay, awesome, let's put those on. Very, very nice. Okay, now, I don't know whether we should do the chest plate because I don't really wear it anymore because we've got elytras here. But yeah, it could be something to look at. Uh, one thing I do want to do 
is we have an additional 7 pieces to work with, so let's put it on the pick, which will double our durability, which is quite nice. And we'll do it with this one as well. There we go. Got to do it with the sob. Oh, I didn't even realise it boosted the attack damage. Well, obviously it does. Okay, uh, axe and shovel, I'm not really worried about. And yeah, that is quite sweet. So we have four additional nether ingots to play with. So I do think we will actually just do this. And there we go, we have an additional netherite piece of armour. Yeah, uh, I actually want to get a dedicated gold helmet with all the enchantments on it because I've went through like five or six of them on this trip for netherite, which is insane. <laughs> yeah, I constantly had to craft some stuff up. Also, my armour took a beating. But yeah, we now have netherite armour, which is quite sweet, and we have netherite tools, which is awesome. Now, since this is a 1.16 update, I had planned on maybe doing a couple farms, but I'm running really late. I have like another hour before I need to, you know, start editing. So what we're going to do is, I think we're going to go back into the nether, and we're going to go and take a look at all the different biomes. And we're going to go and take a look at the nether bastion, because that is a really interesting thing. But before we take a look at the bastion, we need hopper because if we look in the chest of the bastion then yeah the piglins will come after us which we don't want also those hoglins are very annoying so what we're going to do is we're just going to craft up a hopper like so and we're going to take this with us into the nether so what i need to do is i need to go and store away these valuables and i'll meet you guys in there all right so rustic told me that there's a nether bastion right below this portal Obviously, it's going to be a fair bit down there, but the hole in the nether roof isn't actually here. It's over by Connerkey's area, which is over that way. And yeah, I thought the hole would be put here by now. Yeah, hmm, interesting. All right, so what we need to do is we need to go over to Connerkey's area where the hole in the bedrock ceiling is, go down there, and then fly back over to this area where the nether bastion is, and then we can go and take a little look around, which is quite nice. So, why don't we head on over there, and I'll meet you at the bastion. So I found the Bastion Remnant, finally. <laughs> it took me a little while. And here we are. So, why don't we head inside? Uh, we should be alright. I'm going to craft up a backup gold helmet. For if something does eventually go wrong. But yeah, I just love that these new biomes. Just, oh, it's so good. So many farms we can make. Alright, let's head inside. And these Flagellations of the Rockets make it... A bit annoying to get in there. Ah, what's this? Enter a Bastion Remnant. Nice, okay. Alright, so what we're going to do is... We're going to do this. And then we wait a little while. So let's just go and explore the rest of this thing. In fact, what I could actually do... As I looked in it. Why did I... Why did I look in it? Ah. Okay, right now let's just break this. And in a theory, we should be fine from the rest of these guys, maybe? Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, right. But yeah, I love these new blocks. They, they look fantastic. Just amazing. Right, okay, let's break that stuff. Break that stuff. Now, the loot isn't all that good. Anything back here? No, not really. Yeah, the loot isn't great, but... Ah, well, when stuff happens. But yeah, I like this. I I even love the, the whole aesthetic of this thing. Now, I do believe there is a magma cube spawner here somewhere. But making a farm out of that would be great. But the fact that magma cubes spawn very, very often in the Basalt Delta biome means that it's really not worth it. Okay, so we've got piglins, we've got zombified piglins. Uh, you're fine with me. Okay, right, yeah. Okay, right, let's go and explore this thing. Oh, wow. I love this stuff. Also, the, the whole gold thing as well. Like, <laughs> it looks amazing. I do believe Splashes is planning on making a basalt generator. Which is going to be very interesting. Wow. Like, I'm going to be honest, this is the first time I've ever been in one of these. I did look at them in snapshots and things. But yeah, wow, this stuff is amazing. Yeah, I think I'm going to have, go and have a little fly around in here, see what we can discover. But you know what, I'll do that off camera because you guys don't want to see that stuff. 
So I took a look around that place and yeah, the loot wasn't all that good. It's just like a nether fortress to be perfectly honest. But yeah, it is good to see them adding stuff to the nether once again. Like, structures like this. Whenever I fly around the nether now, it actually feels like I'm flying around in modded, which is, which is nice because I love modded stuff. But yeah, in terms of the loot, take a look. That's that's the kind of stuff I got. Nothing, nothing major there. Most of it was just junk. But yeah, uh, for the rest of the episode, we don't have long left. I'd actually like to talk about this update as a whole. And my plans around it. So, obviously these new biomes have came in. And each new biome has some unique characteristics. Like, for example, the Basalt Delta, you can spawn lots of magma cubes. So we're going to be making a farm around that, obviously. The Sosan Valley, lots of ghasts and skeletons. So we'll be farming that stuff. The super efficient... Well, the skeleton farms we can make using Wither Rose spawning platforms because nothing else can spawn inside the Wither Rose. So yeah, like, we're going to be able to do so much stuff. It's it's insane. I'm loving this update. And the fact that we have so many technical orientated players on here means that th this stuff is just it's fantastic for us. Like, El Mango made a video recently covering 25 farm concepts due to the 1.16 update and obviously I'll be building all of them and be experimenting with my own designs. But that's one of the things I love about these updates. As good as the 1.15 and 1.14 updates were, the farming opportunities weren't as great as they are in this update. This update has given us so many farms we can make, it's nuts. Yeah, I, I just, I love this stuff, it's amazing. Plus all these new blocks, like the, the stuff in the crimson forests, this stuff, it's amazing. It's, it's so good, it's so good. Anyways, I think what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to leave the nether because I've been spending way too much time in here recently. <laughs> which isn't great. And yeah, uh, let us wrap up the episode there. One thing though. I, I need to find my way out of here. I forgot the exit. <laughs> ah, finally we're out of the nether. <laughs> as much as I love the new stuff, I just feel it's really dark. But that might just be because I'm not using Optifine right now. Because we're still waiting for it to update. But it should be up and running in the next like few weeks, hopefully. But yeah, um, I kind of held off on building today as well. Because I like doing my time lap stuff. And Replay Mode isn't updated either. Which is... Cool. Although Alex on the server got it working on the previous like, replay version, he got that working on 1.16, which was interesting, so maybe I should look into that stuff. But yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy we've got the server update and all that stuff, which is nice. Uh, next time, I think I actually want to unbuild some stuff, so we'll probably see about tackling our villager stuffs, because they, this stuff has just been sitting around for like a while now and not doing anything, and I want to actually get a villager trading hall up and running. Finally, because then we could have access to all the good stuff. Plus, I've been living off of steak right now, and I'd prefer to live off of, uh, what you call, golden carrots. So yeah, um, that means we're going to need a lot of emeralds, so we need to do a raid farm, which I'll probably do sometime next week, because, yeah, I'm going to be busy next week, so I need to rush production on episodes. So yeah, uh, we'll do some like farming projects, that sort of stuff, just something fairly quick. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Make sure you follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash deathlyyt because we're going to be doing the live stream day thing. I'll be starting them off and then what we'll do is we'll raid each other as the day goes on so that we can continue to send reels to each other and hopefully grow a little bit, which is very nice. Also, a reminder, the autocraft, uh, what you call it, application form, is in the description as well. Make sure you go and take a look at that if you're interested in joining us on the server. I'd like to thank you all for watching this episode of the Autocraft so far. Make sure you go and watch everyone else on the server. On the left hand screen right now, there are two videos. One that YouTube wants you to watch and one that I think you should watch. Make sure you go and watch them. And remember to leave a like, subscribe and hopefully you will enjoy the videos.